Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll continue with a new topic, reflection. Uh, well, every one of you uh, have seen uh, himself or herself in a mirror. And what happens when you see in a mirror? Uh, you see your reflection. And today we are going to talk about this reflection. In the first lesson we learned that when we have a symmetry, we have a symmetrical line or a mirror line. The same thing happens in reflection. Uh, we have a shape which is reflected in a mirror or in a mirror line. The shape, the original shape is the object and its reflection will be the image of this object. So let's see some examples. It is given uh, this object here. It is given a line X and we want to reflect this uh, object according to the line X. Well, what happens when you reflect? Uh, according to the given line, we have to find the opposite point, which has the same distance. Okay, so it is important to, to keep uh, the distance. So if this point is here, the reflected one will be here. Okay, one square away from the mirror line. If this point is here, the other one will be here. It is two square away from the mirror line. So if I take another point, again, this one is two squares away from the mirror line, one square away, and this one is three square away. So when you join these points, you will have the reflected object. Okay, as it is given here. So this one is the object. And this one is the image of this object according to the mirror line. So we have to know that the image has the same distance from the mirror line as the object. Now I will show you an example. So it is given a triangle and this mirror line, which I can uh, move from here. So as you see, when you move the mirror line, uh, the distance between object and the image is always the same. Okay, can you see it? Even if it passed inside of the figure, this distance will be keep the same. Okay, so this one is a reflection. Uh, the reflected line, the mirror line is not only uh, vertical or horizontal, it can be diagonal too. So even in this way, you can see how this distance is kept. Okay, so if the mirror line is here, the object on the reflected one will be like this, and it one goes on. Now let's pass to exercise one, uh, which is found on your book. There are given some shapes and we have to draw the reflection of these shapes according uh, to the mirror lines that are given. Well, I will solve two of them and the other ones uh, you are going to solve on your book as homework. So let's, okay. Now, uh, let's reflect this one. As I said, we have to take each point on the figure and to reflect on the other side, on the opposite side. Uh, and the distance must be same from the mirror line for both of them. So since this point is found on the mirror line, the reflection of this one again will be found on the mirror line. So this point will be here. This point is one square away from the mirror line. So the reflection of this point again will be here. Uh, this one is two square, so the reflection will be two square away. This one is one square, so the reflection will be one square away. So let's join these points. Let's. Okay, let's join them. So this one will be the reflected object. 
let's take this one, which is diagonal. So again, this point is found on the mirror line. Uh, that's why the reflection will be on the mirror line. This one is here, so the distance must be kept same. It means the reflection of this one will be here, in here, okay, if we measure. So again, uh, this one is like this diagonal here. So the reflection of this one will be here. If we join these three points, we will have the reflected figure. Okay, so the reflection will be this, this triangle. In the same way, you can complete the other ones. Now let's pass to exercise two. Again, there are given uh, some figures and we have to find the reflection of them. So I will start with the last one. Now the reflection uh, line or the mirror line passes through the figure. Okay, but this one is not a problem for us as we saw in the first examples. We have always to draw the reflection on the opposite side of the mirror line and we uh, have to keep this distance. So if this point is found here, it will go opposite the mirror line. So it will be here and keep the same distance. If this point is found here, uh, the image of this one will be opposite and will keep one square distance. Same thing with this one. And when we join these three points, we'll have the reflected figure, which is this one. Okay, so uh, the red triangle will be the reflection or the image of the uh, this triangle, the blue one. Let's see B. Again, uh, let's start from here. Uh, this point, it means this uh, point is one uh, square away from the mirror line. So it will come here. This one again is one square, uh, square will come here. And the point which is here, will be here. So when we join the points, we'll have this reflection. Okay, so it will be reflected in this way. Let's pass to A now. Again, this point is one unit, it will pass to the opposite side. It is one unit away. This point will pass here. And this one is three units. It will come here. So let's join the points. Okay, so this one is the reflection of the Triangle. So not always the mirror line will be uh, away from the figure. It can be inside of the figure. Okay, let's see exercise three. This one is a nice exercise. Uh, again, I'll show one example and you are going to complete the others. So what is given? It is given a diagram like this. And now we have two uh, mirror lines, okay? Two lines uh, which will reflect these figures. What is the rule? Um, we have to reflect the shaded squares. It means these squares according, according to the both mirror lines. Okay, which means this square will pass here. The square which is here will come here in the same way on this side. So the same square will go to the four quadrant. Okay, so this one will be taken as a figure. Let's see B, let's continue with B. Let's take a small square. Okay, so this square here will be reflected according to the horizontal line and will come here. Okay, it will come here. Now, this square that we formed here again will come according to the vertical line will come or will be reflected here. 
normally it has a distance of one square and this square will be reflected here. Okay, let's make it proper. Okay, so the same square is reflected three times. The same thing with this one. It is one square away, so this one will be reflected. Oops, sorry. Will be reflected here. According to the horizontal line, it will come here one more time. Okay, it will come on this position. So now it is reflected three times. This square will be reflected on this side. On this side. And on this side. And the last one has remained. So this one have to be reflected here. It is one square away. Here and here. So the shape that is formed is this one. Okay, the new shape. I will solve D, C and T. You are going to complete on your uh, book. So according to the diagonal line, we have to reflect. Now this one is a triangle. Well, it will be difficult with the shapes. So let's use the line. Okay, so this one will be reflected in this position. Okay. According to uh, this diagonal, and this one have to be reflected again where? In this position. So it is uh, one diagonal away. So it will come here. And the shape that we did ha again have to be reflected on its opposite. Okay, so the first one, let's take this one. Again, according to this mirror line, it has, it will come here. Okay, according to this line, so it is uh, one, two, one, two away, it will be reflected here according to the diagonal, and it will go opposite to, as we said, it is reflected three times. We have finished with this one. Let's do this one. So according to this diagonal, it will be reflected here. It will go in opposite side to, and here. Now we have the squares. So this square, uh, since it is one square away, it means it will come here as a square. Um, it will be reflected here. And again, here, 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 yes. So one diagonal, yes, it will be. Okay, I have this square. So according to this line, this square will come here. According to this line, it will go here. Okay. And Okay, and in this side, this square will come in here. Okay, now this one is the last one. So it will be reflected in this position. And according to this one, it will be reflected in this position. And this one will be reflected in this 
position. So this one will be the figure that you'll get at the end. In the same way, you will complete the two other figures. Now, exercise four, uh, Tamir says that since six squares are shaded in the diagram, when all the reflections are drawn in, uh, there will be 24 squares shaded. Leila disagrees and says she thinks only the 16 squares will be shaded in. Who is right? What mistake had the other person made? So this one is like exercise three. It means all the squares that are given are reflected according to two given lines. And you have to find if there are 24 squares or 16 squares at the end. Okay, and then you have to decide if uh, one of them has done a mistake and what is this mistake? I will wait for your answer. Now, exercise five, uh, you have to copy and uh, complete these diagrams. The reflect uh, of each shape is happened according to the line X and then according to the line uh, Y. So first I will have to reflect uh, this uh, figure according to this line, which is X, and then I will uh, reflect this figure according to the line Y, okay, the vertical one. So let's do it. Okay, I will show one example and you will continue with others. Okay, so this triangle according to the line X will be reflected where? Here. Okay, so the shape will be reflected like this. Now this triangle will be reflected according to the line Y. So this line will come here, this one here, and this one here. So this is the reflection. In the same way, you can continue with uh, B. I will do C. Um, okay, so according to X, this point will come here. And this ones will go here. So the figure that will be formed will be this one. Okay. So the reflected one, according to X, will be this one. According to Y, Okay, the figure will be this one, according to y, according to x and according to y. Now, exercise six says that now let's reflect this ones first according to line y and then according to line x. And we have to check if there is any difference. So the given figure first will be reflected according to line y, which, which means it will come here. Okay, then this figure will be reflected according to line X. It means this figure will come here. So is there any difference? Or can, can we see any difference about this one? No, in fact, it doesn't matter in which line you have reflected the figure first. Again, you will get the, the same figures. In the same way, please complete B and C on your book. Now, exercise seven, uh, we have to draw the mirror line when the object and its image is given. As we know, the mirror line must pass in the middle of these two, two figures. So both figures must be equidistant from each other. So ca we can easily see that the mirror line uh, in this one is in the middle. Okay, so it will be Let's do it one more time. No, it is not proper. Okay, the middle line will be this one. At B, we'll have a horizontal line. Okay, this one is the middle line. At C, we have a diagonal line, as you see. Okay. And at D, we have a line which passes through the 
through the figure. Okay, so these ones will be the mirror line for these shapes. Okay, thank you for today and please complete the homework on your book and send the photos to me. Thank you.